Hello. <coughs> Welcome to episode 36 of the Bad Cast. Today we're drinking Saint Walls Oak Aged Beer. I don't. Saint Walls are twist caps, usually, right? Yeah. All right. Ripping a fucking hole in my shirt. God damn. All right. <coughs> there we go. So I'm, I'm getting sick. I started getting sick yesterday, so I'm <coughs> slowly getting sick. Winter is here. There's snow and ice everywhere. 6% alcohol. It's a strong pale ale. Um, introducing our 25th anniversary beer. Brewed with pale malt, crystal malt, toasted wheat, and chocolate malt. This unfiltered strong pale ale is hopped with nugget, cascade, hallerto, and golding. <clears throat> the beer is then aged with oak to give the beer greater complexity. Our new Saint Blas Oak Aged Pale Ale is one more reason to celebrate. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's one more reason to celebrate. <coughs> So I'm gonna be coughing a lot, sniffling a lot, whatever, deal with it. So here's the bottle, you know, it's Saint Abois usual usual stuff, you know. Red in the sun. Oh, look at that. Oh wow. Wow. That's a really nice color. See in the sun. Uh, pretty decent head. Uh, smells like a normal beer, you know? Smells like a beer. <coughs> now, <coughs> fucking, excuse me. Um, I ate pizza, spicy chicken ramen, and a Mars bar. So my taste buds are pretty fucked right now. Let, let's have a little taste of Rooney. Oh wow! <clears throat> oh wow! This is a uh, this is something. Like I said, my taste buds are a bit off, but um, wow, that's really good. I mean, you uh, really taste the hops at first, and at the finish. Then they finish, um, <clears throat> but you really taste the malts too, the chocolate taste, and slight like banana sort of uh, fruity taste. Um, it's a real, really well balanced beer, man. Holy crap! Yeah, you taste the barley and the <clears throat> the malts and stuff. A little bit of to toastiness. It's good, but um, I don't think I, I drink like six in a row of these. Um, it has a quite a bite at first. It's kind of putting me off. Uh, this would be like one of my favorite if it didn't have that little hoppy taste at the start. Um, so yeah, welcome to episode 36 of the Backcast. What's up? <coughs> um... Slowly but surely, the channel is growing, uh, the show, more than three people are watching it, shaking the table, um, I don't know man, uh, so like I said, I'm getting sick, so I'm kind of out of it right now, I'm just, I just want to go to bed, uh, perfect timing, because it's, uh, Exam season, you know, I have like 20 projects to start and finish in like two weeks. Um, and it's probably the worst time to get sick. Excuse me. Whatever. 
Also, I think the camera's kind of tilted. Or maybe it's just my back. I don't know. Whatever. <clears throat> um, I have an interview uh, for a job tomorrow. Uh, it's a part-time job at C-Forp. Uh, C-Forp is Centre de Formation... Uh, no, Centre Franck Ontarien des, Relas, des Ressources Pédagogiques, I want to say, something like that. <coughs> Hopefully they won't watch this. <laughs> um, but it's a place where you do stuff and crap and stuff, so I uh, have an interview there tomorrow. Um, I don't know what's in. F I don't know, and I don't know uh, if I'll have time to record bad casts or work at my other job. Um, it's kind of all up in the air right now. Um, it's kind of really whack. I don't know. Um, I've never. It's kind of my first job because this is what I do at college: is um, multimedia. Uh, computer stuff basically and this job would be like a first step to starting my life I gotta guess it's kind of like a, a stage kind of thing uh, but I'm actually getting paid and stuff and I don't know it's a, it's a pretty big step from just like a part-time minimum wage beer selling job <coughs> um, but it's, it's a step you have to take nonetheless you know So, I'm going on an interview tomorrow over there. <clears throat> maybe I'll get the job, maybe I won't. You'll probably find out on this show. Next week, or whatever they tell me. Um, so it's a place in Ottawa. I'll probably do like some uh, programming, like HTML, CSS. Um, maybe some After Effects and some Photoshop stuff. Uh, so I'm kind of looking forward to that, um, but like I said, my um, it, I think it's a five-day week kind of thing, like a Monday-Friday kind of job. Um, <clears throat> and my my schedule is pretty filled right now, except for like today, uh, Wednesdays, which are pretty. I, I finish at eleven, so I don't know. It depends. They, they maybe won't even need me. I don't know. So only time will tell. Um, you know, I could stress about it, but why I stress about it? It doesn't give me anything in return. So so I'm trying to make this uh, short because I don't feel like <clears throat> talking right now because my throat hurts. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, huh? You gotta suffer to be beautiful. <sighs> um, so, <clears throat> let's check some emails. Uh, I don't think I have any. GG Easy Sports has followed you on Twitter. Uh, shout out GG Easy Esports. The fuck? Um, no emails. Um, I mean, nothing's been going on in the news lately. Uh, yesterday we got our first. Uh, was it yes? No, Monday. We got our first snowfall. Uh, and it all froze uh, during the night. So now there's ice and snow everywhere. Uh, winter decided to ke come by uh, after like a couple of weeks of no snow and kind of hot weather. Weather. Um, it just showed up and said, yo, what up? Winter's here. Uh, it's like minus 10 now. Uh, it's probably the reason of my cold too. Because, you know, it's like 10 degrees and minus 10, you know. Uh, Whatever. Whatever. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, 
Been playing, been drinking, uh, I tried the new melon, well it's not really new, but a melon beer from Denham uh, last week. Uh, I really liked it. Uh, it's kind of weird because it's a melon beer, so it's kind of sweet but sour at the same time. 4.8% um, Berliner Wellen Weiss, Melon Weiss. Uh, it's pretty good, check it out. It's a nice beer. Um, <laughs> So after that, you know, Christmas is coming by soon. We might have a contest, but I don't know when and why and where and what. Excuse me. So um, I know, I know, I know, I know. Uh, Far Cry 4 came out. It's pretty much the same as Far Cry 3. Uh. I'm probably not gonna get it because 70 bucks is a bit much for the same game. Uh, if it was like 30, I'd probably get it, but it won't be. Uh, Christmas is coming soon, so Steam sales are coming soon too. <coughs> uh, yeah, I've been playing. All right, no. oh look at this. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Insurgency. Um, Probably didn't talk about that last week, right? Um, Insurgency is a Counter-Strike-like first-person shooter, uh, but it's more simulation than any uh, other first-person shooter, I guess. Uh, you could say it's near Arma, but not, not, not really. Not at all, actually. Um, <clears throat> it kind of goes with the uh, mechanics of leaning, and uh, you get killed in like a bullet or two. Um, so it's pretty frustrating, but it's pretty intense, and it's a good game. Uh... <coughs> it's not a bad cast in the garage. Like I was saying, uh... um, Insurgency is on sale. Um... <laughs> It's in the Humble Bundle right now, so that's why everybody has it. It's a dollar, and you get three copies and one for yourself. Um, three, three copies to give to your friends. Um, so one of my friends gave it to me. Um, I played Insurgency, the Half-Life mod. Um, the Source mod, should I say. Um, back in like a couple of years ago and I really liked it. The mod was really good and um, I know they're the same people as the people who made the mod but they made the full game out of it and it's like 30 bucks usually um, and honestly it's a really really good game um, I mean it's, it's got it, it's got its kinks and stuff like you shoot a guy in a bot like with two shotgun shells in the face and he doesn't die but he kills you with like a knife or some shit um, Small glitches, uh, really minor though, not many. Um, many night maps, which is kind of a bitch because you can't see shit. You, you buy night vision, but you can't see shit either way. Um, but yeah, I've played maybe like eight hours of it already this week. And, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> I'm really, really loving it. Um, for like a dollar, it's uh, I would have probably paid like twenty bucks for it. Um, it's a really great game if you like shooters and like simulation kind of stuff. Check it out. Now I don't know if they're gonna update it or not. Uh, put like vehicles. <clears throat> they won't put vehicles in it probably, but uh, you can play PvP thirty-two players. Or uh, co-op versus bots. I personally love uh, playing co-op better because it's more tactical. You got like a crew of six versus like 20 or 30 bots. Um, and depending on the map, you do have like different objectives, objectives and stuff. And uh, it's pretty cool um, playing with like random people uh, and stuff. So. Check it out, Insurgency, in stores now. Um, 
Except for that, I mean, Dota. Uh -huh. Um, man, the bo the bottom of the the bottom of the glass is really uh, it's kicking my ass. Uh, <clears throat> also, uh, there's a new update in Dota 2 coming up this week, probably tomorrow. The Oracle has been announced. A uh, new hero has emerged. New challenger has surfaced. Uh, whatever. Uh, uh, he's the Oracle. He's an intelligence hero. Uh, his base damage is like 30, which is ridiculous. Um, but he looks cool. Uh, his voice is awesome. Uh, his abilities seem kind of OP, um, but you really have to kind of time them. Uh, it's, re it's really weird. It's a really weird hero. Like hit one of his abilities does lots of damage, but it heals over time after it deals the damage. And uh, another one is a channel that purges. So you can deal the damage and before it heals that the enemy, you purge him with the other attack. So it doesn't heal him back. And like his ulti makes you invisible for like six seconds and you can attack and stuff. And it's, it's a really weird, it's a really game changing Hero, I think. I mean, um, 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 I don't know how he's gonna play out in like pub games, but his his ulti seems kind of OP. Um, uh, well, that's just me, not the professional. So, what do you want, eh? Anyways. That's pretty much it for this week. Really short episode. I really chugged this, man. Ooh. Kind of regret it, but uh, gotta do what you gotta do, huh? Um, thank you for watching episode 36. Uh, episode 37 next week. Probably have some news from the interview tomorrow and stuff. Uh, I don't know. Check out us uh, facebook.com slash the bad guys. <sighs> Twitter.com slash the green duke. Send me an email. Marty20k. Marty20k at live.com. I think I'm gonna go to bed. Ugh. Ugh. Lay, 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 go.